everybody and welcome to this one take bike review of the eCosmo Continental. Um, so what is it? It's basically um, it's a gents sort of hybrid bike with road roady type of tyres and wheels uh, with quite a sort of upright um, body position okay so let's have a look right frame set so you're getting an aluminium frame set and it's very very smooth and at first glance you just think wow that's quite cool and then you see a big chunky weld in there I don't know if you can see that big chunky well so build up the, it's, it's a good frame however there's a couple of things that have completely blown my mind um, firstly there's a little unscrewable cover here for the internal internal gearing which is fine but makes me believe that maybe this is a electric bike frame that they left the electrics off and then and this I find this actually really quite disturbing I don't know if you can see in there but there's actually it's really difficult to do it hang on let me try from this angle this might be better okay so just there just here there's a big hole and it's right above the bottom bracket and on the top of the bottom bracket shell where the weld is that you can't see there's a hole now I can understand why that would be there there's also as well before I go into that there's another sort of hatch here Which looks like let's get it in the right position. The hatch. I'm guessing for tools, maybe, or more likely, is an electric bike frame. That's what I think. That's what I think is happening. However, and I apologise because the gimbal's going mad, but let's get this centered so we know where we are right so you're riding along and you go through a puddle and the wheel is going this way round and that water gets carried and flipped straight in to your bottom bracket into that part there into that hole that's madness absolute madness I've never ever seen anything so foolish on a push bike before to have a big hole above that bearing um, so frame wise it's very pretty but we I can't score that highly because it's um, it's a really bad design I'm pretty sure that that part is supposed to have a cap on it um, and electrical wires out coming to a rear motor that's the only thing I can that's the only way I can explain it. Also as well, it's a Continental on their website, but there's nothing that says it's a Continental, which tells me that this is just an electric bike frame with no electrics. So that's where I, I am. Okay, so the components, what do you get? So you do get a Shimano rear derailleur. You get alloy wheels. You get Schwalbe Lugano tires, which is good. You get a, I think a Shimano, but I could be wrong. No, it's not Shimano. You don't get Shimano um, chain set. The chain, I think, is, Shim is Super Win. The chain is Super Win. The chain, the sprockets are Super Win. I'm guessing this is Super Win as well. It's seven speed. You get these wind zip brakes that I've never heard of. I thought WinZip was a thing you used on your computer to um, unzip files. And then you get these WinZip brakes, brake levers as well. 
and then this L2 A2 shifter which is seven speed you get an alloy handlebar and alloy stem you get an alloy seat post micro adjust and you get this massive stand that usually is on electric bikes um, the componentry is very low end I have to say very low end so the build how well built is it well I could show you this quite easily so the stand is on stand it up you probably can't see it from here but you can from here that the bike is not level and that is a great indication of the build quality you might see it better from here that the bike is not standing up level so if they can't get the plate that holds the stand level tells you everything you need to know about the bike really so the build quality isn't great. I mean, don't get me wrong, the welds here are smooth, but I can't score highly because of that stupid hole. Why have they done that? So the look, let's have a look. It's a good looking bike, but then plain black bikes usually are. Um, there's nothing out of the ordinary. It's a it's a black hybrid style seven speed bike. So it looks nothing stands out. It's kind of understated. Um, so yes, yeah, so that's the looks value for money. They're selling these for 125 quid on their website. Oh, do you is it 125 pound is nothing for a new bike. The tyres retail are about £20 each, maybe, maybe a little bit less. They're Schwab's sort of lowest quality ones, but they are good tyres. The, the components on it, I've never heard of them. And I've been doing this a while now, but I've never heard of them. Is it good value for money, 125 quid? Would I buy one? No. No, because I think unless you do something about that hole at the bottom there you're just going to be rotting out that bottom bracket so quickly it's madness absolute madness um so that's our review of this bike i wouldn't buy one um purely because of the intrinsic design faults that it comes with and the low components but if you're after a really cheap new bike no I don't think I'd buy one I think you can get a lot better second hand to be fair well, thanks for watching hope you've enjoyed this hope you found it informative um, don't forget to like and subscribe and we will um, we'll see you in the next one <laughs>